Welcome back, Cloud Cadets. In this video, we're going to figure out how to uh, uh, generate a demo in our uh, Azure DevOps. Uh, we'll create a project from a template that either Microsoft or the community has provided to us. And the reason for that is so uh, we can be lazy and not have to create all those tasks, uh, work items, uh, and explore and see how, so we can learn from other people how they do their uh, uh, Agile workflows, their pipelines, uh, maybe you're looking for something specific like .NET and React or just, um, you know, uh, microservices. So first thing, first thing, I have to, I have to practice what I teach. And I said, I will create a tab here. So it will only take one click to get to my organization. Thank God, instead of going through the hard way. Next, let's open a tab. Uh, let's search for Azure DevOps demo generator and we see the link up here uh, and we see the this utility that has been well we've done something with it it used to be much easier before mm, we will be able to do it from here as we see by the large red area large red pink area we, they no longer offer this for us uh, so we'll click on this link here to go to the demo We'll click to get to home here on code. You can click on the code here and you can click download zip. And you can I already download it, so I'll save us some time. I go to my downloads, I would have extracted it, and I go into here, here, in the source directory, and then we see the solution file, and I can open it. And then I'm in here. And the first thing you do is uh, right-click it and build solution to make sure that, that it works, we see no errors, thank God. We click play, we open it, and we see here we get quite a lot of templates uh, that you might find interesting. We even got Azure Machine Learning, Terraform, wow, uh, pretty much. Uh, I think we are gonna go with this Azure Sentinel DevOps. Um, we'll start with 46. We'll see if it uh, satisfies our needs. So I type in 46, click here. Then it asks us for the authentication method. I'm going to go with the number two, personal access token. And um, here I'm going to type in my organization name, which was Azureverse. And now here it will want the personal access token. So if we go back here, we come back to our user settings section up here in the top right corner. I mentioned we will be delving deeper into this and we'll click on the personal access token. And we can create one by either pressing here or here two buttons. This one will disappear once we uh, create it. Uh, we have at least one. And here I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Demo Generator. And for laziness sake, I'm just going to set full access uh, because I'm going to remove this key. Um, it's not because I don't trust you guys. It's because I don't trust you. Uh, full access. Great. And we get it here. You see what it says. Once we close this, we can no longer see it. So if you're going to reuse this, you should save it somewhere else. But I'm going to copy the clipboard, go back to the console program, press Control V to paste it, click Enter. Then it wants a new project name. And I'm going to take the same name that we used here. And I'm going to be lazy and Control C to copy it. And then Control V to paste it in. And now it is generating it. We'll hold on for a short moment. While you tell me about your day. Let's see. Quite a lot of interesting templates here. Yep. We'll save this link later in the description. There we go. Uh, do we want to create another project? No. And we can close it. We can close this entire thing. And if we refresh here, you see my token here. And here goes the trust. I click there, revoke. So sorry, guys. I have to protect myself. I have a lot of enemies. Now, let's click here to go back. And we see we have a new project here. 
and it even says in description generated by Azure DevOps demo generator. Let's enter. And let's see what we get here. We we get 558 work items created. That's nice. Let's go into board and we see. Oh, nice. Uh, up to the feature level. Uh, and we see we can have up to epic or create our custom ones. Uh, I've heard of something called a saga. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, so uh, let's see. How does it all look? Oh, nice. So uh, in the next video, we're going to go a bit deeper here. Uh, I think this will be useful for our uh, boards section walkthrough. So until next time, until next uplink, my fellow cadets, adios.